some more honky tonk piano riffs on a genuine honky tonk piano i.e. it's slightly out of tune apologies i'm going to use these in our rolling stones uh, song we're working on we're in the key of c as with all these bluesy jazzy things nearly always when we hit our chord we're going to smear the third played slightly flat first some people call this a crushed third just sort of crushing, crushing the third We've got a little intro riff that's going to crush the sixth Just use uh, because I want these fingers free to play the chord vamp. Okay, we'll probably play the chord vamp lower down here. I'm crushing the third again. We're going to what looks like an F, but we're keeping a C in the bass. In our left hand, we'll just be hitting the bass. But I'm holding the uh, phone so I can't play with both hands. Here's our vamp again. We'll play where it runs up to the G as we hit our chorus, it'll go. So you play that in the left hand to get to the G, and we hit the G in our right hand. We're going to not play that G, we're going to play it with a the seventh there. We're going to smear that. It's quite a fast change. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Slightly syncopated an early kind of C chord there, and you can trill it. Chord, similar vamp to the C, up to G, but occasionally we might do this little riff which is really nice if you can get your fingers around it, when we go to the C, uh, the F, rather than playing that chord, we're going to hit the A of the F, and we're just going to play the F at the top, and this is sometimes called the Memphis scale, we're going to go up. Take care, you've only got a black note there. So G and an E flat together, F and a D together, E flat and C together. Together it sounds like this. And then when we go to the G, instead of a normal G, we're going to do a similar principle. A bit easy to play that because there's not really any black notes other than the smears. instead of F to G with a vamp, instead we could go or we mix and match both. Thing. We've got a little pause on an F chord, but this time we're going to sweeten it, we're going to play an F, we're going to play it in that position, but we're keeping this finger hanging over the top because we want to create what's called a slip note in country piano. We want the notes to all ring out together, it sounds nice and high up. Notice how we've got almost those three together. Just a very fast arpeggio to what I'm doing. We can hang on that for a bit because that's the kind of punchline of the song when we sing Roll with Tumbling Dice. If we play it twice, we can go back down there. 